good af wait, is it morning and after afternoon today you guys I have a doctor's appointment a gyno a gyno appointment. Let me turn this TV down. He's playing a video game. Getting ready to go like right now. We need to go right now. Because I need to check the meal. So come on, let's go. Yeah. I have a doctor's appointment today. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Whew. Doctor's appointments, doctor's appointments. Week after week after week. But yeah, um. I hate going to gyno appointments. I hate going to see a doctor, period. No one wants to see the doctor. I don't know if y'all can see my makeup today. It's like really nude with a bold purple lip. Dang, my face looks huge. Probably because I don't have any wig on. Stay. I'm just wearing my nuts. Okay. Come on, let's go. I gotta go check the mail and stuff. Come on. I don't know if you guys can see my little itty bitty tree over there. <laughs> it's so cute and little. I didn't think it was this cold out here. Okay, guys, so. Yeah. And I'm going to just go ahead and throw it out there because you probably have noticed I did dye my hair. Uh. I had to dye it twice. I used that dark and lovely, vivacious red that I said I was going to dye that weave with. I ended up dyeing my hair. And then I had to go back and buy some more dye from CVS called um, something else. All, um, what was it called? Claire All Blazing Burgundy. And I had to dye it again just to get this color. So, but I'm satisfied with this color. It's gonna have to do. Yep. All right, I'm here at my appointment. Just made it. Where's my water bottle? thirsty just made it here about to get out oh god any things that gynos can find um cancers and so even if you dread coming here you know do it anyway because there's so many things that they can find and you need to know you need to know these things so get your yearly pap smears and all that stuff it's important it's important she better not ask me about mine because <laughs> the weight in here waiting for the doctor to come in here. It's taking forever. I've been back here for like, they called me as soon as I sat down in the waiting room as if they was going to get me. Well, as if she was going to see me like that I get back here right. I've been back here for almost an hour. But I think she about to see me next, so I ain't tripping really. I know she better hurry up. Cause like we got places to go. We ain't got time to be waiting. What time is it? Two eighteen. You should have just stayed home. You. you tried to tell me. When? Last night. Good morning. 
morning, good morning, good morning. Day two of my doctor's appointments. Yay, last and final day. So happy. No, seriously, um, I'm on my way to my neuro. And if you don't know what that is, that's a special, 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 a specialist that specializes in headaches. And basically, he just, you know, uh, helps you with headaches and migraines and stuff like that. And, um, um, this is my second opinion. I'm going kind of see my headaches getting a little better i'm still having them but i noticed they're not as as of aggressive as they were uh which is good um but i'm still having them i don't want to have them anymore um i do have on this really pretty lipstick i found in my uh makeup drawer but other than that i went like really really nude like i just went super nude but it's like really cold. It's sunny, but it's cold. Like yesterday, but colder. I guess the cold front came in last night because it was like super cold last night. But, um. Shot out, gun in my head, been an explosion. Let a squirrel get in there. So I'm out of the doctor's office and I'm pissed off. Okay, let me tell y'all what happened. She upset. We sat in that doctor's office for two whole mother freaking hours. Okay. Two. Two whole hours. Not one hour. Not. Not an hour and a half, not 30 minutes, but two whole hours, y'all. And I didn't even get to see the doctor. Yes, 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 yes. Now I know y'all wondering, how does that happen? <laughs> These mother. Sorry if the steering wheel is in the way, but I don't feel like holding the phone. <laughs> but I'm at the school. Nah, I'm at the school for real. Waiting for my little sister. Um, I'm picking her up today. Um. My mom had to go out of town and stuff, so I'm picking her up today. She goes to the same high school I did. Wolverines. Anyways, so um, yeah, that's what I'm up here doing right now. And I'm sorry if this is like in the way, but I got my phone sitting up on the little. The little meter thing. But, um, I wanted to come and talk to you guys about something. And, like, while I'm at the school, I figured, what would this be a perfect time to talk about it? Yes, it would. But I also wanted to come and show you guys these little mist that I carry around with me. It's like my everyday mist. And it's the Victoria's Secret Tees. 
these are my favorite i'm gonna do a favorites video so i'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that for my favorites video but i will be doing a favorites video real soon but i wanted to come and talk about something um real quick about today's teenagers and how success, society has really changed. Um, I'm going to scoot up because the line is scooting up. But um, I'm looking around at these young boys. And I'm going to grab my phone because the lighting is just off now. But, um, I'm looking at these young boys and girls nowadays and my sister is 17 and like I mean I'm not that old myself so times haven't changed drastically from the time I was a teenager but it has changed like I mean pregnancy it's like the things little girls do just to fit in. And, I mean, it's just real sad, you know, today's society and how little girls think and what they feel love is and the things they do for love. And the definition of what love is today like it's changed and it's just like it's no more you know i'm going to be successful it's more of i'm going to be his wife i'm going to have his kids no let me change that i am going to have his babies I'm going to be his wife. That is what the young mind of these girls think. Because it's cute to them. And it's sad, you know, when generations ago, you know, that's what I'm saying. In school today, they're just mainly teaching you this bullshit that we do not use after we graduate to be honest when i think in school they should instill values self-worth um i really do think that's what they should be teaching in these schools you know um and i think these pregnancies these these teenage pregnancies i think the count would lower a lot if they would teach these young girls self-worth self-respect and all that types of stuff if they would do that I believe it would help these girls, you know, really understand that they don't have to do this, you know. At the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do. But, you know, I just think that it's really sad, you know, because the way that their minds process is that they just want to be somebody's baby mama. And they figure, like, that's how they're going to keep that guy. And it's not. It's definitely not going to keep him. And um, and then their thought process of love. They're just like, oh, it's so cool to have a boyfriend. It's cute. Everybody has one. I need to have one. And it's definitely not. Like, when I was coming up in school, you know, everybody wanted the boyfriend. Don't get me wrong. Everybody wanted the boyfriend. But also, everybody wanted the new J's. You know, it wasn't just the boyfriend thing. Everybody wanted the new J's, too. So, yeah. But it's just today's society and the world we live in today. Hi. Hi. Ooh. All right, guys. She's with you smell me. like a nurse at home. <laughs> she's with me now. You want to say hi to YouTube? Say hi, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? That's my sister. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. And 
she's finally in the car now. I'm about to go get her some some that's not funny. <laughs> oh, oh. He's studying though. Yeah. He's he studying. On it every day. Uh, I bet them grades are straight. Yeah. I like her boots. I'm about to find me some boots with, you know, some uh I forgot them boots. I'm kind of ugly, but they're cute. Those are kind of like mine. They're cute, but ugly. If this little pointy van don't get off my booty, well, I've been farting. Uh, uh, barking. Alright. Yeah, barking. Because McDonald's be making me see. Shh. I don't, after you told me that, I, mm -mm, I'm supposed to eat from there anyway. Well, we are heading to Burger King and I'm about to close out this vlog. Hope you guys enjoy it and subscribe, comment below if you have any questions and see you guys in the next video. Bye! You want to say bye?